Hi and welcome to this episode of Simulink Tips. I'm Alberto and today I'm going to show you the Data Inspector. Data Inspector is uh, the tool to visualize data generated through a design process. What does it mean? It means that it uh, is a tool to visualize the data you have generated with Matwork, MATLAB or Simulink and to compare this in a fr user-friendly environment. Okay, speaking about the benefits of this, is uh, the capability to, of course, import the data, inspect this data, then compare the different data from different sources or runs of the simulation, and then the possibility to export this data to the other users. Okay, so as I just said, you can import or run simulation, you can do precision analysis, so you can see exactly the value of each one of these signals in different timestamps and also you can use advanced property to tune and to, uh, to order or analyze this data so you can, let's say, group this data, change the color and uh, many many other things. About the comparison of the data, you can run different simulations and you can easily see each data uh, what simulation belong to, so there's a, a direct corre correspondence and also you can also put boundaries uh, um, around the, let's say, reference data and you can decide if uh, the other simulation fits into the boundaries or not. And then last, you can save this data as uh, a um, stimulating that inspector file but you can also save as snapshot or also generate a report to show to your colleagues or other people what's your um, analyze what you analyze okay but in order to better understand this let's switch to simulink so first of all let's analyze the interface of the simulink data inspector here on the left we have the common tool to save import and uh, uh, generate new data. Then here we have the inspect, so the data we select to, to be uh, shown here in the simulated data inspector, and then here the ability to compare different signals. Then here on the top right, there's the icons to select and change the information about the plot. So first of all, let's say we want to plot WW and VS. Okay, we have this plot. And now we want to see another signal, the slip, for example, but we don't want to see it on this graph. We can simply click here and select a new layer, such as this one. Now, here in the bottom one, we select the slip. Okay, perfect. As we can see, there's already done. Then we want to add a cursor, so we want to see exactly the value of each one of the signal in the same timestamp. Okay, for example, we want to put it at 2 seconds, perfect. Okay, so 68, 65 and 00 0.4. Okay, perfect. We want to zoom a particular area. Let's say here we want to see exactly what the behavior and both the graph stay connected and zoom automatically. This is very important to keep the data synchronized in order to avoid mismatch between one data and the other one, okay? Then if we want to go back to the full representation, we can simply click the other button. And then we have other options such as the maximize to see full screen or we can take a snapshot, perfect. Okay, to save this data and quickly share to our colleagues. And of course, there's the, um, the information about the, uh, let's say, the, the, the settings about the plots. Okay, now I want to show you the uh, capability of comparison between different signals and to, uh, the capability to analyze the behavior. In particular, now I have uh, uh, imported a baseline, so the stick, for example, at the reference and uh, must be compared to alpha, so another value. Uh, here we can say that there's a red all across the entire board because there's a, a mismatch, there's, there's no point in which the two matches except for some intersection. Now I can put some boundaries around the reference 
and this is usually given to you by the, um, the designer or the specification of the system. For example, I can say, okay, I want uh, one as uh, modulus tolerance and one as uh, time tolerance, and then I can click compare. What's happened now? It builds a green, um, a green uh, uh, area around the reference, uh, shaped in the dimension you just selected with the uh, tolerance, and now is all green. Perfect because the um, all the um, both the signals are inside the green, um, the green area. So we have within tolerance. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can generate a report. Okay, generate a report or report all signal or inspect signal. You can gen generate whatever you want. Click generate report. Take some seconds. And uh, at the end, what's uh, um, the, 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 the result of the report is this. So a uh, .html file that shows the report. So what are the boundaries? What are the signals you just uh, uh, compute? And if there's uh, the mismatch or not. So we pass the, the, the comparison because uh, it's all inside the um, the reference. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, leave a thumb up or uh, and subscribe to our channel and don't miss any of the future videos from the community. See you next time. Bye bye.